Okay, so today I'm going to be making what I like to call everything but the bagel rolls. Now, I like to create a starter the night before. So here I have a third cup of room temperature water. To that, I'm going to add a half cup of all-purpose flour. Now, I'll give you two versions of this recipe, one with the starter the night before, or one if you want to just put it all together in a bowl the same day. I'm also going to add a quarter teaspoon of dry active yeast, give it a good mix, and then I'm going to cover with cheesecloth. This is a double layer of cheesecloth. You'll want this to breathe as it sets on the counter. I'm just going to rubber band that in place and set it on my counter overnight. It's morning time the next day and my starter has definitely activated and it's bubbly. This adds great flavor to the dough, which is why I like to do this. So here I have three cups of bread flour. To that I'm going to add my starter, a half teaspoon of salt over to the side away from the starter, a half tablespoon of sugar on the other side, and I'm going to sort of bury them and mix them on their own. And now I'm going to add two teaspoons of dry active yeast, two tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm using grapeseed oil. I'm going to start giving that a mix. And I'm going to start with a half cup of lukewarm evaporated milk. You could use whole milk. I'm going to start giving that a mix. It's going to start off really sticky. And then another quarter cup. So in all, three quarters of a cup of evaporated milk. Now I'm just going to mix until a dough ball forms. And I'm going to knead this on my work surface until the dough becomes smooth and springs back to touch. And if you find that the dough is too sticky, you can add a tablespoon of flour on your work surface. So this is ready to rest. I'm going to add it to a well-oiled bowl. I'm just going to coat the exterior with oil, cover it with a kitchen cloth, and set in my oven with the oven light on until it is doubled in size. Good morning. Good morning. So everyone is awake at this point, so I better hurry with these rolls. So I'm going to create a cream cheese spread. Here I have my eight ounce block of softened cream cheese into a bowl, and I'm just going to mix and whip that. This makes it a lot easier to spread on the dough. Now I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of the everything but the bagel seasoning, one to two teaspoons of dried chives, a quarter teaspoon of dried dill, and a teaspoon of dried parsley. The herbs in this are up to you and you could leave it out, but I like the flavor. Give it a good mix. And before I forget, I like to add cracked black pepper to this. That is optional. You could also add some crushed red chili pepper flakes. So whip it around, combine, and this is ready. So my dough has rested for two hours and it has definitely doubled in size. I'm going to press and punch out the air. I'm going to flour my work surface and place my dough on my counter here. And I'm just going to give it a flip and coat it with flour. And now I'm going to roll this out. I'm going to roll this out thinner than a quarter of an inch. I didn't measure it, but it is thinner than a quarter of an inch. I want to say this is around 24 by 20. Now I'm going to spread out my cream cheese mixture into a thin layer over the dough. Okay, so I've spread the cream cheese all over the dough. By the way, I cut my finger on the parchment paper box, so I'm going to be wearing this glove for the remainder of the video. Okay, so I'm going to fold my dough into thirds, and this helps roll it out. Because the dough is so thin, if you kind of do it the way you would do a cinnamon roll, it, it gets hard because it's such a large piece of thin dough. So I'm just going to sprinkle this with flour and roll it flat just a little bit. And then I'm going to evenly, or the best that I can get, evenly into 
about 14 to 15 slices. Now I'm just going to roll up each individual slice. So I've placed it on a baking sheet with that dangerous parchment paper. <laughs> I'm going to pinch off the edge here just to make sure it stays enclosed. And I'm going to let this proof and rest for another 30 to 35 minutes. After it's proofed, and you'll notice once I lift the towel here, it has puffed and doubled a little bit. I'm going to create an egg wash, basically one large egg. I'm going to put that in a bowl and beat it. And I'm going to brush this on the exterior of all of my rolls. This is going to help the everything bagel seasoning stick to the outside of the roll. And however much you want of that, it is up to you. My rolls are prepped, so I'm going to bake this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. Once they are done, I'm going to remove them from the oven and they're just going to set until I'm ready to eat them. I'm going to be serving these alongside scrambled eggs. This is what we're having for breakfast. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.